on this week's episode, we talk about all kinds of stuff. We start by talking about the pictures behind us. Yep. And as you can see from mine, there's a fan tail in mine. Yes, so we're going to talk about a little bit of tail. And there are two. Um, we don't talk about that on the show. <laughs> Sometimes Fine, we do. Not. But uh, what else do we talk about? Talk we talk about, about poison talk about oak. Me being annoying on the cruise ship. Yes. And me thinking I'm the only one who thinks that's funny. We talk about the art of manliness, having to give back their man card. And which, even Scott agrees with me. Which is why the manliness with these. Yes. Uh, we talk about, uh, well, we talk about New York taking more stuff away from us. Yep. Although this time they're probably Made sense. right. Yeah. And then India blows stuff up. China blows stuff up. and uh, Not balloons either. And the buildings. And Chicago mourns the Taco Bell being blown up. I'm, Anything what? to drink in the middle of the whatever, day. Whatever, whatever. Ozzy's going back to England. No more mm-hmm. ham tossing over the fence. No more eating bats heads either. Well, if you're going to not eat, you're going to get skinny, just like those tall skyscraper in New York. And you guys want to um, see it because it's cool looking. Yep. And we show you that on a show. And we talk about all the free stuff the government wants to give us and why I'm against it because I can't get any of it. So I want it. I mean, if I could get all this free stuff, I wouldn't be so curmudgeon. Yeah. 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 Curmudgeon. And then we talk about uh, should we or should we buy property? So come and watch the show. Yeah, I'm on my way. Welcome to the Don't Know Show. I'm Steve. And I am Scott. And this is a tale of how bad life decisions led to a YouTube show, a podcast, a live Twitch stream, and Steve just running away on vacation thinking he didn't have to do anything this weekend. I didn't have to do anything. But you can go down to whathappened.world, and if you connect up to um, uh, my Twitch and my, my Twitch, my Twitter, my uh, Instagram, and my Facebook, you can see the posts. And you can see stuff like that in the background. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. But we're going to talk about what we've noticed is going on in the world today, uh, including uh, the pictures behind us. Yes. So do you want to uh, start uh, before? You want to like, subscribe, share all our stuff? What do you want to do? Like, subscribe, and share. We did that. So I'm only pointing there. So no, 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 you didn't. Okay. It's okay. We, 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 we'll just we go right into what the we web have page. Here. And I said to go do that, but I didn't say Ooh. I said to join us. But you don't know, forget to, to like, us. subscribe, and share, and go but to what happened that world. Well, we said that part. We yeah. just didn't say the part about liking, subscribing, and sharing. Yes, the words like, subscribe, and share is important. Was where yeah, because apparently that's how all this stupid stuff works. I know it's weird. Although we are starting to get a few because I noticed like six people in the past month, which is not a people. lot, but it's okay. It's people an increase. Yes people so who's first me or you you because you're the one that went on vacation i just worked well mine runs into the first few subjects all right in that case i'll go okay all right the pictures behind me happen to be the mitchell park domes they have a new name but i can't remember exactly how it goes but everybody still calls them the mitchell park domes they're pretty cool looking they they're look like really cool. out of a out of a space uh like that could be like a space uh, I don't know. Like, Logan's Run. They could like well, film that there. Right? I told you I'm watching The Expanse because I read the book, and this reminds me, obviously on a smaller scale, but the domes of on Mars. Well, also cool sky that night. Yeah, it was really awesome. Was it the moon reflecting off the clouds? Is that what you were saying, that or was is, it just ready to rain? It, that's the city lights reflecting oh, off the clouds. Because we're cool. in Milwaukee. This is literally in Milwaukee. In Milwaukee, eh? Yes. This is... Give me some cheese curds? Like one mile from downtown Milwaukee, so it's part of Milwaukee. What beer is from Milwaukee? A lot of beers are from Milwaukee. What's the one that's... You know, Ham's is the beer? No. Well, Miller... Milwaukee beer. Brewing Company. That's yeah. Miller, right? That, well, yeah. No, it's the Miller Brewing Company. Milwaukee. I don't know. They've uh, A lot of them have merged. It's like Miller Coors now, so Coors oh, yeah, and Miller everything's together. The same. Old Milwaukee, that's the one. Old Milwaukee, Milwaukee's best. Those are the ones that I think of when you think of Milwaukee. Old Milwaukee. There's everybody beer, knows that uh, Budweiser, everybody thinks of St. Louis. Uh, old Milwaukee. Because that's where Steve goes when he wants to see beer in St. Louis. Well, it's better than getting the Schlitz. I mean, the Schlitz. I mean, yes. the, the, the Pap Blue Ribbon. And Schlitz. 
But Miller, Walthers, Pabst, those are the ones. You betcha. Not old style, though. That's from Chicago. No. No, old Milwaukee. Yeah, it's old Milwaukee. I'm looking at all the images. No, it was really pretty. That is cool looking. Weather was beautiful. Now, what are they doing there? Is that is that a um, a garden or is it just open? They're gardens. Is they terrarium? That's uh, why it's no. It's the hort- yeah. Uh, yeah, it's horticulture. What's that called? The movie with the dome. Remember the movie with the dome with Pauly Shore where they went in and ruined it? Yes, there was biodome. biodome yeah, biodome. Those are biodomes. No, they're not sealed. So, but they are year round, and they have things growing in there year round. And if you notice, this one here even has a moon in it. What? Right there is a moon. See the moon? Is that a moon or a light? Well, obviously it's a light, but it's no, shaped but I know like that, a but moon. I mean, is, is it like a moon now? I mean, is they, yes, if they you go make inside, it, like it looks like a moon. Well, they, have those, they have those glow moons. You've seen those, right? I've always thought about buying one of those. Yes. They have, yeah. We actually looked at that for one of our Christmas show episodes. Domes with plants. What is a dome with plants called? It is called a hot tent. Okay, that, that's not the word <laughs> I was looking for. Yeah. All right. So that didn't that search didn't take me anywhere. But uh kind of reminds me of when you asked me to, to look up where a uh, Hoover Dam when we were getting Ohio. It's like what? Yeah, this is this is what I was talking about. Um click, click, click. Click up on the round of tap. Click. This, click, click. these things. Yes, the moon lamps. They look cool. I, you know, if it wasn't for the fact that the moon that they have hanging in there is much larger than that, I'd say it was just a larger version of one of those. Yeah, yeah, they have a different colors. Look at that one. That's not. A, that's not really a. Wait, wait, wait. Is that really? It's a lava lamp. No, it can't be. That's that that's that's false advertising. There is no way that that thing is actually a lava lamp style where it moves. Yeah, see, false advertising. That see, no, it's not a lava lamp. Nope. No, it's an no, LED I lamp. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, no, that would be cool if it was a lava inside the thing yes, too. Though, damn scammers. That. Yeah, see, that's a lie. Oh, you can touch it and change color though. Okay. Oh, well, that is kind of cool, man. Yeah, but it's not a lava lamp. You can't say nope. that. Nope. Well, they can because they you did. You cannot, you cannot say that. So so your weekend was, uh, Saturday was, Friday was, Friday was. Friday, so was Friday, Friday, Saturday were both wedding days. And Sunday. Friday, Friday Saturday, and Sunday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Well, we're no all concerts. Home. No concerts. That's The last concerts are my birthday weekend. Okay. And then, and and for those of you who want to send presents to Scott, um, you, you can do that. I happened. don't mind. You I don't use again anything. World and contact him and uh, get him stuff. Get him a, a lava lamp moon glow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Um, or get him the robot that has these two things on him. A girl robot? Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? I have to go to Canada for that. So no more baseball? No, Canada is where the girl robots are in the in the no, brothel, no, Remember? No, back to my conversation. Ah, oh, baseball. What you were talking about? Baseball? You were talking about those? You, you doing stuff? Ah, so yes. Concerts. Yes. Your birthday. Yes. Things you're gonna get for your birthday. You said you had. Let me. Okay, let me retrace the car. Scott said that. Oh, the next time I have a concert is for my birthday. Yes. Now do you birthday remember weekend, birthday weekend? Birthday weekend. Okay. What? Well, what day is your birthday? Friday the sixteenth. Friday. So his birthday will be Friday, and then you'll have a concert on Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday. So for your birthday. Yes. Who? Who, you, who, are, you going, who are you going to sit in the parking lot and not be able to hear? Grizz. I have no idea who that is. That's what everybody says. It's funny. He's basically electronica. Grizz. He puts on a hell of a light show. Grizz. Uh, you know, if you search Grizz, it doesn't even come up. And How do no, you spell it? G-R-I-Z. Okay, if you type in Grizz, Memphis Grizzlies, Grizzly scores, Ross. Do it in all capital Grizz. letters. Uh, 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 wait, 
And now it's, it's like, GR small I Z. And then ah. it comes up. Once you hit enter, it comes up. Okay. So yeah, so he's an EDC guy. Electric. Yes. Um, when we were at uh, Chili's for lunch today for the first time in a while. He was uh, there? No. I, well, sort of, yes, because um, Susie, you know, was asking something about what it, what what I'm doing from birthday weekend. I says, the concert for Grizz. She goes, just like you. Who the hell's Grizz? Grizz. So I put it on my phone. And, you know, just one song. And you saw it starts out as basically rock and roll. Nice solid rock and roll and then all of a sudden it just goes dance music crazy with lasers everywhere it's just it's like a hell of a transition so apparently his logo is show love spread love yeah he's uh, kind of cool yeah it, it's kind of like the grateful dead uh to dance it's kind of it's kind of a cool logo uh i, I, I can share this because you're gonna like this so pay attention to this page there's the there's grizz then yes there's- Love, there's spread love, right? The logo, right? right? The logo again. Eh, okay, whatever. You know. Oh, by the way, he's a sax player. Let That's the why there's EDC, saxophone on that. Let the EDC let the good times roll. Right? Yeah. Grizz, uh, a bear playing a saxophone. Yeah. It's like because a grizzly bear, right? Earplugs, obviously, you're gonna need those. And then, if you're going to the show, please wear your underwear. Yeah, of course. Right. Then or got, get ready to throw them on the stage for him. Okay. That uh, was Tom Jones concerts. They had so much underwear at the end of the show. They goodwill almost got rich. Can you do that? Can you give used underwear? To oh, they they used to. I don't know if it's allowed anymore. You really, really watch them walk. Yeah, walk them really, really well. Yeah. Okay, so what I did this weekend was I went on a cruise. They've um they've lowered the they've lowered the standard, so now I can get on. Um they've lowered the requirements, which saved me two hundred dollars because you do not have to take a test if you're on a less than five day cruise. So you don't have to take the COVID test, which those things cost upwards of eighty dollars. So you have to have the rapid result one. Correct. And you have to have it done within if you have the booster within two days or 24 hours of your debarkation or whatever. So yeah, kind of, kind of save me. So Peggy and I went there, there we are in Ensenada. Ensenada. And you can see they brought Bellagio fountain there. So it was kind of cool. Um, we got off the boat, walked down the street. We were looking for someone told me there's a real good place, a bar. They couldn't remember what street it is. Then I could see why, because the streets have no names. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. There's a song like that. But I'd have to have the uh, a map. And he said, just walk down the street when you get off the boat. And there's two streets you can walk off when you get off the boat. So I'm like, okay, that doesn't work. Uh, and he says, it's the first bar you come to with dollar bills taped on the wall. You can't miss it. It's the only one. Well, we found three of those. Yeah. So, and none of the them have the All three of them we're are the call. only one. But the farthest, yeah, the farthest one we went to. So you go up the main road, uh, you go out. Um, out into Ensenada through the first security gate, right past the, uh, past the, uh, what do you call a band shell? A band shell. Yeah. You go past the band shell and you go on a street, you go one street up and then you turn left and walk up the hill. Uh, and we found a one really, really, really good. Uh, the salsa was fantastic. Like a really, really good shoe. Yeah, so this is fantastic. Although the people next to us, it's too hot. It, it wasn't. I mean, it was perfect hot. You know, I, I like I like hot for flavor, not hot for burning you. Correct. And it was hot for flavor, okay. not hot for not for not for like oh my god, it's a ghost pepper. Um, you know, not the, the one chip chow. So that was the chips and sauce was really good. We had a um, a vegan uh, quesa taco. Also, really, really, really good mushrooms, onions, spinach, uh, really, really good. And then we um, we took a chance on Montezuma's Revenge. We had a milkshake, cool beans, a chocolate horchata milkshake. And so far, I mean, knocking on wood. I don't know if you can hear that. Can you hear that? No, but I see your microphone shaking like crazy. Had me knocking on wood. Yeah. Okay. 
So no Montezuma's revenge. So we took a chance there. Take a chance, take a chance, take a chance on me. So it was cool. So the cruise was cool, although it was packed. And they're having the same problem that everyone else is, is getting enough employees. Uh, the cruise was great. Figured out how to work everything around. Didn't have as many activities as they normally do because they just didn't have enough people. Um, they leaving the garage. They only had one gate open to take Ooh. everybody's money to get out of the garage. Bad. So, so it's a good thing that I ended up starting the show late. Otherwise, you might not have made it on time. Oh, crap, Ola, you froze up. I was going to get a, a no knock. Yep, I know, but um, I should come back. Am I back now? You're back, back now. now. Am I back yep. now? Am I back now? Si, senor. Am I back now? Am I back no. now? Am I back now? Will you stop doing Am that? Now? Am I back now? <laughs> it doesn't come out that way. What way? Well, doing if, I have, if I have Montezuma's Revenge, it'd come out. Well, that would be um, zero. Yeah, so so Carnival will get a letter on that, and they'll they'll uh, do something. But yeah, they finally got a second person. But it we got off the boat. We know to use the porter to get right out of customs right away. So we used the porter, walked us right over. Peggy ran up the stairs to get the car, and then an hour and twenty minutes later, got down three floors. That's it on the parking garage. That's all she had to get down was three, and um, yeah. So only an hour. Hour and 20 minutes to get hot in the parking garage. That sucks. I go, what do you think? You're in Vegas and uh, you're using the hotel parking lots for these big concerts, which only have one gate, one right. up and down ramp. And you're putting 20,000 people out, out at one time and making people pay for parking. I go, open a gate and let everybody go free. That's right. That's how you solve that. Make an executive decision. Um, but they made everybody pay. It was stupid. In Chicago, you pay when you go in that way. It's, it's You just get out. Right. Everybody just goes out, you know. But they don't know how long you're going to be there for a cruise. Well, yeah, that's you know? true. So people could just park their car in there and leave it in there for months on end. So did you get a sunburn or anything? Do I look like I have a sunburn? I mean, I'm in an yeah. orange shirt. But no, I did not. I, I, okay. got, a little, I got a little red on the first day because I left my hat in the um, in the suitcase. But right. But, no, I did not. And we had fun on the cruise. Um, the first day, um, people are already sitting on the deck, uh, on the Lido deck, in the in the chairs, reading books. Okay. And a lot of them were sitting, so they didn't sit the shadow on the book. Sit, Ubu, sit. So they had the book, had the book like this, right, up high. Right. Right. Well, the sun was shining on the pages. So one of the show subjects that I've had for a while um, was this show subject. So this is called uh, the art of manliness.com. Okay. And I, I don't know why, but they do weird stuff like this. So they did shadow puppets. So guess what I was doing? Uh, shadow puppets on their books <laughs> while they're reading all of a sudden <laughs> there you go i come up behind their head and i'm doing these shadow puppets uh the other people who saw what i was doing were laughing the person reading was trying to figure out what the hell was going on <laughs> exactly uh, but but yeah the people behind were laughing so uh i thought it was funny uh, apparently i'm the only one but yeah i thought it was funny i'm the only one so yeah so that was fun <laughs> Um, but Very yeah, the, the boat's pretty cool. It's a, it's a renewed boat, Radiance. <laughs> it's one of the smaller boats. Um, but yeah, we're looking at probably doing an Alaskan cruise in the spring. I, I would like them to remove the COVID protocol. All the staff still had to wear masks. Um, let's see what else. You still have to be vaccinated to go on all the cruises, right? And boosted for some of them, but yeah. Eh, whatever, right? We'll have to talk about the Alaskan cruise because it's something Susie and I were talking about also. Oh, all right. Let's that do it. Might, might, yeah, it, and it might be worth paying for the uh, paying for the internet to broadcast live. Exactly. Live from the Lido deck. Take so, a glacier before it disappears. Yeah. 
So did any, any, any of you have any dermatological issues? Dermatological issues? Yeah, well, like sunburn would be one. Okay, so no. But okay. motion sickness, um, Peggy gets motion sick. And uh, she did um, Dramamine. Dramamine, and yeah. It's fine. But I could feel the boat. So we were laying there uh, on the on the deck, on the Lido deck for, uh, and we were on the opposite of the port, which would be starboard, but we were opposite of the port side where they were tied in. Right. And when they released the lines, I went, oh, they just released the lines. And the people next to us go, no, no, they didn't. I go, yeah, I felt the boat move. Like, yeah, whatever. So then they start up the motor and they blow the horn. You go, oh, crap. Uh, but they started the motor. And I go, oh, we're starting to move now. And they go, no, we're not. I go, yes, we are. He goes, yeah, I can feel it. But yeah, you, I could, fortunately, I can feel the boat move, but I don't get sick. Same with me. But, but the boat was moving. You bet. The boat was moving. So when we went through the hurricane on the, with, on the cruise ship, well, that's a little different. People, I mean, they had they had barf bags everywhere, and almost nobody was in the hallways or anything. When we went to bed, it was like being in a cradle, being rocked to sleep. It was just so awesome, and everybody was like, "Oh my god, this is so bad! This, this is well, yeah, that's why I thought I thought Peggy did great because she she did not get sick, but she does get motion sick, and I am fortunate. Again, knocking on the wood. There goes the microphone. Did you uh, hear it on my end? No. Hang no, on, hang on. I can't hear that at all. It's weird. And I put the mic right down by my knuckles. But which way? Remember, it's a directional. It's a conchoidal uh, microphone, which means any sound you make down here. Look, I'm going to put my hands here. You hear that, right? Now, listen. You hear that? A lot louder. Don't hear anything when it's above it. Right? Because it's a conchoidal microphone. It means got, come from the side. That means I got turned the wrong way. Yes. Goofball. So I'm going to bring it up. All right. Well, like but, but there's more. Okay. Because I, so, I, I need to talk, talk about the dermatological issues. So let's not forget that. Okay, that comes up next. But I'm sticking with the art of manliness. Okay. The art of manliness needs to give back its man, man card. Okay. I'm going to bring this on the screen. I want you to read the black writing. Then I want you to read the red writing. It's in big letters. Because that's where the little red writing you, is. And then I want you to tell me what is wrong with this article. Okay. I'm supposed to read okay. the black line first. Yes. The big letters. What does that say? How not to use a crescent wrench. Now, read the red. How not to use a crescent wrench. Okay. What is wrong with those two lines? I'll give you a hint. Look below the two lines. They have red X's there. And then they have a proper way to do it. What is wrong with the proper way of doing it? Well, it's not seated. Okay, read the last three words. Oh, crescent wrench, yes. That is not a crescent wrench. That is a regular wrench. That is an open-end wrench. Open-end wrench, yeah. Not a box right? wrench, yeah. Those are open-end wrenches. Right. That's a hammer. That <laughs> looks like yeah, an open-end wrench. Do not hammer on your head. That, that is an open-end wrench. That is also, you are correct. Do you see that picture right there? That is a crescent wrench. That is what a crescent wrench looks like. A crescent wrench is an adjustable wrench. It is called a crescent wrench because the crescent company made the most popular one. Like Kleenex is actually facial tissue. That is also correct. This is a, a crescent, crescent wrench. wrench. Correct. An adjustable wrench. So, Art of Manliness, give me back your man card. That is called an open end wrench. You betcha. Open end, open ended, and it's, and and the middle one is still incorrect because it's not seated. You're not and, supposed to have a gap. It's supposed and, to be right up it's flush. It's okay because it is only really grabbing those two sides. It doesn't grab it in the in the circular side. Yeah, unless you had a box wrench and a box oh. wrench, it would go all the way around. Correct, and then yeah. 
But yes, so our demandliness fail. Card, give it back. Give it back. We're posting this on your website going, you suck. Yeah. Really? Really? Okay. So now, how manly are you with your dermatological? What, what, what? Please tell me you don't have fungus, uh, skin fungus eating stuff. Um, maybe. Really? Um, that's not good, dude. I've had a very rough week. That happens in, in your area of the world. Ew. Do you know what poison oak looks like? Uh, yeah, like that. Like, That's what it does to you. Yes. It burns. It like burns you. Like it poison does. oak. Yeah. Like poison ivy doesn't burn you. Uh, poison ivy makes you itch and you get a big rash. Poison oak makes it look like it burns you. What did you walk through and kick it? Okay. I am not sure where this happened. This could have happened as I was cutting along the raspberry patch in our own backyard wow. because we haven't had time to keep up on the gardens this year, or it could have been when I was cutting grass at the property. Okay, that's enough, Dr. Pimple Popper. You can unshare that. Thank you. Oh. So oh. The, the first picture, well, these pictures I showed you today is how, what it looks like today. It was worse? It was worse. So you put calamine lotion on it to try and dry it out and stop the itching? No, I, I did some research on it and it says, you know, there's not much you can do about it. It just goes away on its own, but it can take two to four weeks. Okay. And, you, and, and no calamine, no calamine. It says you can use calamine if it's itchy. It is not it's, bothering me. I don't have the desire to scratch really? it. Yeah. It, the plants are really poisonous. They're not really poisonous. It's, they call it poison because what it does is an allergic reaction to your skin. The problem with poison oak is the oil gets on your skin. Yeah, it's you called urushal. It, it's called urushal oil. Correct. When you, if you touch it and touch any other part of your body, right, it transfers there, to it. It has it. Right. So, needless to say, without realizing it, I also got two spots on my waist from when I went in the house to go to the bathroom. So, so. D dig this though. Okay. It's only the oil. So once you rinse the oil off, the rash is not contagious. Correct. So it's only the oil that you do it. So you, you hit whatever you did, you touched your skin where the oil was, and then you touched somewhere else. Correct. You didn't go to the bathroom, did you? I did it didn't wipe your butt, did you? Fortunately, no, fortunately, fortunately, I uh, yeah, it's hard to explain. You got a picture of that? No, I didn't. I, I just got one spot on, on my waistband from when I got off the lawnmower or whatever, and I pulled my you know, because when you're hot and sweaty, the shorts start to ride a little low because they get wet and heavy. So when I pulled them back up, it did two things. It smeared a little bit on my waist, just one little spot. And then, of course, my fingers rubbed the oil off on my pants because my pants are wet. So it didn't transfer anywhere else. But I'll tell you something. It is not pretty. <laughs> no. And you just got to watch for secondary infections in those blisters. That's the problem because of the cutting and all that. Yes. As a matter that's, of fact. That's the worst part is you can get an infection. And then you're in trouble. So did you gauze it and wrap it? No. Because you're supposed to keep it exposed to the air? Correct. Ooh, and God. I just realized that it looks a little worse than it did earlier today. It's getting worse. Well, kind of sort of because it's the end of the day. So you know, my legs are swelling a little bit. So perspiration won't spread the rash if the resin, the urushal, has been washed off. Hot shower spread poison ivy. False. Cool, shower, cool showers. No, nope, we can't see it. Yeah, there it goes. There it is. Ew. Oh, God. All right, enough. That's right now. Cool showers can soothe the itch longer since hot water rushes blood to the affected area and only gives temporary relief. Correct. Wow. Yeah, and, and I made the mistake of going in the hot tub the first day before it really exploded, and that did not help anything. Oh, that's gross, dude. Why do you always hurt yourself when you work on stuff? 
Uh, because like both my parents, it does not matter how old we get. We continue to do shit because we don't want to pay other people to do it. Well, because we don't have enough money to pay other people to do stuff. And they're like, well, your time is worth money. I go, yes. And I don't have the money. To That's pay. right. I can't pay myself either. So bear. Ah, it's crazy. Ew. Ew. Just ew. Ew. It's just ew. All right. So uh, enough of that. Yep. So just your waist and your leg. One leg? No, both legs. The oh. one, the, the one, the left leg is much worse than the right, but the right leg has it too. Those are huge ass blisters, dude. That's You're why I'm loaded. thinking that it was by the raspberries because I felt the scratching of the raspberries, and that's what I thought it was. But there must have been something in there too. Oh no, there was poison oak in there, dude. Yeah. Because uh, yeah, that's worse than I poison. Mean, technically, could be poison sumac, but the poison yeah, sumac. Poison does, sumac. Yeah. Because they're all the same oil, so yeah, yeah. And we I do have sumac. Okay, sumac. Here. So, all but right. anywho, we have just enough time to do one more subject. So, let's see. Rash shows up right away. Don't touch the leaves; you'll be okay. Clothes keep you safe. The oil stays on your skin. But it's been hot and humid, uh, so I've been wearing shorts, even though that's how you get problems. No like water rubbing alcohol. Alcohol. You can get rid of it. Yeah, that's going to burn like a son of a bitch. Yeah. Home remedies clear up the rash. Myth. Rash contagious. Myth. You won't need to see a doctor. Myth. You might need to see a doctor if it's close to your eyes. Correct. Your pets can get the rash. So make sure your pets don't go out into the poison suvac. Okay. What is our next subject then? Well. Oh, we could do this one. Okay. So, remember when New York wanted you to be healthy and Governor Goldblum took away the large size sodas? Correct. You can only buy the small size sodas. Yeah. You can still buy soda, you just couldn't buy the large size soda. Yes. Well, and you know how in most places you got to be over, is it 18 or 21 to buy spray paint? 18. Because they don't want the kids to be taggers out there and doing Correct. it, but most taggers are over 18 anyways. The good ones are right. Well, New York passed a law. If you're under 21, you can no longer buy cans of whipped cream. You betcha. Cause you know how much tagging they can do with that. Okay. It's not tagging. So remember when I worked for craft food service, I, I, I know I've told the story before, but I'll tell it again. Yes. And we would take a case of whipped cream to this restaurant in Chicago. It was a high end restaurant with good whipped cream. You bet. And the guy called me up and goes, this whipped cream is no good. It's flat. I'm like, how can it be flat? It was it? All right, so fine. So I take another case there, not thinking about it, drop them off another case. Can't use this whipped cream. It's flat. So I look, and it's the same case lot. So I'm like, okay, we might have a problem with the case lot. So I go get a third case, different case lot. Case is flat. Now, this is all happening within two days of me bringing it to him. Yes. So this is inside of a week. I brought him three cases of flat whipped cream. So the next time I take it and I open up the can, the can and I go, look, it's not flat here. Boom. I did one. Right. So he goes over. He calls me up two days later. They're all flat. I'm like, they're not all flat. I, I couldn't have tested the only one in the case that wasn't flat. Yep. I go, do you have a camera? He goes, why? I go, I, I got to see what's going on. So what would happen is the dishwasher would go back there. And instead of turning the whipped cream over upside down and spraying out the whipped cream, they would keep it right side up and they would. They'd huff the stuff. Huff the <laughs> propellant in the whipped cream. Can you believe that? I Definitely believe it because I had the same thing happening at the place that I was working. What? Really? When I was, when I was the activity or when I was food service director at Edwards Warning T Camp Conference Center, one of the kids tried to do that. Oh, really? Yeah, because it's nitrous oxide. Yep. It's called a whippet because of whipping cream. A whip they, they, do, they were doing nitrous oxide balloons at the fish concert. In addition to a short-lived euphoria, the drug can also cause a loss of blood pressure, fainting, heart attack, and sudden death. Potentially long-term effects, including memory loss and psychosis. What? What are we talking about? 
Oh, don't scare me like that. Don't. 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 Well, hey, that, was the time, that was the time I told you about when uh, I was in a radio station. And we had the stool and we had the, we had the high council. So you're sitting on a stool, yep. not not on a regular chair. So we're sitting on a high council. And um, they did a remote at a car uh, dealership. And they brought the helium tank back. So I rolled the helium tank into the studio. And then I proceeded to start doing the next 10, 15 minutes of talk on helium. Sure. <laughs> then the next thing I know is I was, the mic was still open and I'm laying on the ground. I fell off the stool. You betcha. And I was kind of paralyzed. And I'm like, ah, oh, you won't believe this. I just fell down. And I can't get up. Like I'm like I can't move. I'm like just I like think I too much helium. And I did. I I did. I did too much helium. So what, what people do not understand is your brain needs oxygen, but it prefers helium, even though it's not good for it. Oh, that, that, that I didn't know that part of it. Yes, you should have learned that when you're scuba diving. That's one of the things they teach you. Nah, I should have, but I try mix and stuff like that. But yeah, so oops. So yeah, so I, I laid on the ground until I could get back up to the stool, and then I played a record, and I went and I moved the helium tank out of the studio. Good idea. Yeah, because I'm stupid like that. So okay, so now it's time for halfway through the show for Scott, who wrote a uh, genuine positivity message. I Scott, did. Did, I you, did, did. I did. You, did. Did you write a, a genuine positivity message? I did. No, you didn't. Fun guy, the entertainer did. You can complain about everything, or you can talk about the good things. Talking about the good things not only makes you feel better, but doesn't annoy your friends. Fun guy, the entertainer. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. You like it? You like it? Sure. I, I can't believe I'm going to have to pull some more of these articles out. Let's see. Well, I'm going to pull these out. Like pulling teeth He's down here. It's a necessary I have, thing. I have so many Sometimes. subjects for us. Well, that's because you didn't know if you're going to be back in time to do it. And if I'd have any time, these. Yeah, but I've, I've just, I've, I've just been going ahead on subjects like crazy. Yeah. Like crazy. I, like I just pulled out some good. more subjects. So we did New York. Okay. So India. Let's do world some world news coming back off the Jim Yay. Now I, gotta I saw this and I thought it was kind of weird. India blew up apartments worth 87 million to send a message. All right. So first off, $87 million in apartments in India, when the people there in India either live really well or it's really bad. It's yes. dirt floors. It's like shacks. almost nothing in the middle, right? So why would you take $87 million worth of buildings to send a message? I mean, what you should do is say, fine, we're giving these to the low-income people. But then I read further down, and I guess they couldn't because the controversial towers built by the Indian real estate developer Supertech LTD were demolished because they weren't built to code. And so they paid off. Uh, but why would rich people? So I was it unsafe. See, so it says constructed illegally, right? So it's being read as rare success for activists against powerful and wealthy builders who bend local laws and illegally pay off officials to construct illegally. So illegally or unsafe? Probably unsafe because they were illegally built. Risky construction that ended up costing lives. So is it because the way the guys are doing the construction and it's still safe? But, you know, government officials have been accused of enabling such illegal deals. So they blew it up. So that was good. It was a court case. And they won. Build big builders would now think 100 times before conning the common people. But I think it would have been better if they just gave them, gave the housing then said, fine. The only people who can live here are the people who have dirt on their floor. So I guess, so it doesn't really tell you whether it was unsafe or not, but they did blow them up. I didn't get the knowledge to use more luxury apartments worth eighty-seven million dollars. This pair of sky. You hear that? All right. So 
I think I could. Sh- oh crap! I need to go back. Wait, 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 no. what? We ah uh, man, it was a one-time. Sh- <sighs> Let's refresh. I want to play this for you. When okay, you first started talking about this, I I read an article about a woman in New York who is taking the real estate agency to court for selling her a like fifteen million dollar apartment, which is just like whatever condo yeah. or whatever, because there's no full time doorman. It's like what? Yeah. Why did India demolish these new luxury apartments worth $87 million? This pair of skyscrapers with nearly 1,000 apartments were illegally built and a court recently ordered them demolished to teach its allegedly corrupt developers and the government backers a lesson. The entire country tuned into live footage as 3,700 kilos of explosives pulverized the towers. This all came after a nine-year legal battle with home buyers suing the developers Supertech Limited for deviating from the building plan and violating construction laws. The court ordered the company to pay the home buyers back with interest. All that's left now is 80,000 tons of debris to clean up. Yeah, there's less of 80 tons of debris to clean up. Great. But here's the other funny part. Ah, So funny was it? So not to be outdone on the same page. You know, you know, ads link. Correct. So uh, where are not ads, but ads do too. So no, this is an ad. So, world news. China blows up 15 high-rise because construction ran out of money to finish them. So, instead of getting somebody else to finish them, they paid somebody to take them down. It makes perfect sense to me. Okay. So, they blew that up. And then, and then, uh, uh, oh, yeah. So, then, okay. Not to be outdone. Chicago Bar will host a wake for a beloved Taco Bell scheduled for demolition. <laughs> for de- demolition. Sorry. It's just... <laughs> okay. Wait, let, let me get the numbers right here. 87 million, 15 high rises, a Taco Bell. <laughs> well, you know. Okay. Hey, we got our priorities at least. Yes. <laughs> Chicago Bar will host a wake. I hey, just thought, I any thought that, reason to drink in the middle of the day? That's all. I just thought that was a funny, funny combination of way to do things. Um, I don't know if you saw this in the news. Ozzy Osbourne is afraid of get uh, that he might get shot. Yes, so he's going so to he's, England. He's going to move back to England. So does that mean Sharon is leaving the View? Ooh, Ozzy Osbourne moving back to England because he's fed up with mass shootings in America. Well, he's he's probably right because in England they just stab you. Exactly. They don't they don't but, shoot. But you. it's really hard to stab a bunch of people I, because you know. I think there's only yeah, but <laughs> you still stab one person. Yes. It might be Ozzy Osbourne. But I don't but who knows if that's what he really said. Because if you ever hear Ozzy talk, <laughs> so you know, I who knows? Exactly. But, but yeah, good. You have good to use a him. translator. Yeah, good for him. He he deserves to go back. A couple of forty uh, celebrated their fortieth wedding anniversary in July. Plans to sell their Hancock Park mansion in L.A. and move to their three hundred and fifty acre Buckingham estate Ooh. in early twenty twenty three. Then so, anywhere near the Buckingham Fountain? I don't know. I don't know where it is. I don't know where their Buckingham Buckinghamshire. So does the Shire around Buckingham, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, that, well, the neighbors will be happy because they'll be throwing uh, raw meat over the fence into their yard. Oh, yeah. Do you remember that? Perfect. Do you remember that? Got to get the doggies happy. Do you remember that? No. They had an argument with their neighbors, so they threw like a roast over the fence. <laughs> they started throwing their dinner over the fence. So, Why not? Hey, take, this, take this ham. I don't know what it was. But yeah, well, all right. So now I got to search it up since you don't know. I am clueless, which Steve always says is normal for me. So I'm kind of curious what kind of meat it was that they threw over the fence. Who cares? Uh, it was a ham. 
part one of the so oh it would it would even has a video <gasps> oh where is it where is it deep here we go yeah problem why don't you understand that some people do like to sleep it's two o'clock in the morning you have a perfectly bigger house to go inside and talk every single night drinking having your little cocktails every night he said he was going to be daddy of course i have darling you want to hear some black sabbath you said you wanted to beat up ozzy osbourne the front door's open. Come on, playing your awful middle-aged music for everyone to hear. What? We haven't been here for six weeks. Weren't you the one that wanted to beat us up, dear? Come over. Come on. Come on, big. So, right? That was weird. That was Ham. They threw Ham over. That that was that was that was there. That was Ozzy Osbourne's answer because the neighbors were being loud and playing music. Then I went to the next video. This guy making a bikini top out of a uh, a life jacket. Sure, why not? Whatever. Uh, what what do I do next? Mm. Oh, oh, oh! So you New York, right, Lady Suen? Okay. Yes. You like Guinness World Book Records? I do. The thinnest skyscraper in the world. Oh, I saw that one. That's awesome. Is in. New York. Did you look at the subjects? No, but I've seen this before. Oh, you have? Yes. That's actually the name of it. 111 West 57th Street. That's the name of the tower. Look at how thin that is. Look at how tall it is. Yeah, it's bizarre, isn't it? That's crazy. Morgan Skyscraper, Steinway Tower, one of the, 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 the play now. Hey there, homeowner. Did you know you I can get a really, free? No, I don't. No, just really. I don't want solar. Skip ad. Skip ad. Move to the right. I can't. Right, oh, right, right, right there. I can. Okay. Beep, 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 beep. Look at that thing. Steinway Tower. It's not much wider than the crane. No, I know. It's funny, isn't it? I mean, I think it's got an elevator and it's got rooms on both sides. It's got a hallway down the center and I think there's rooms on both sides. I think that's it. Okay, why, why, why are they showing? Just showing from there. Let's see what we got here. That's a view from the tower. Okay, that, that does me no good. Whoa. But it shows you how tall it is when you look down. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? That's the view from the 82nd floor. Isn't that nuts? Where's the tower again? That's still then, the view. Yeah. Still the well, view. Well, if we don't blow the planet up in another couple hundred years, we're going to have three, four hundred story tower buildings. Yeah, just this view. Central Park is cool, though. Look at that. I have got to give kudos to the people. Oh, who there's the tower. Who said, look, this is going here. We're not going to build on it. This is for the people. And they stuck to it. Well, that's what um, Daly did with um, Lake Michigan. That's why there's, there's nobody built on Lake Michigan. Yeah. That's why, that's why we have all the beautiful lakefront property and beaches and that because, because they did that. Yeah. You got to do it. Otherwise, you know, the people who want to make a lot of money will use it. All right. So I was searching. The other day on the how to page. I love those. Pages. And, and, and it, they came up with a suggestion and I didn't take a picture of suggestion. I don't know why, but it came up with a suggestion. And it was how to clean. And it was how to clean three things. And the first one was how to clean sand dollars. Okay. So if you find a sand dollar, you want to know how to clean it, right? Sure. You having fun? No, I was a dumb. Is the show boring you? No, <sighs> can't believe I did that. What'd you did? I knocked over the damn speaker and it won't stay standing up. I well, I can hear. I can hear the difference. Yay! It's better now. Okay, you're weird.
So how to clean the sand dollars. You know what a sand dollar is, right? I do know what a sand dollar is. What is a sand dollar? A sand dollar is when you take a dollar bill and you take sandpaper and you scratch it up so that it won't read in machines. No. They come from the ocean and the you drop it in the sand. It has wet sand on it. And you got to get the sand off of it. Yeah. No. Okay. Then they came up with how to clean your tent. How to clean a tent. Makes sense, right? You bet. And then the last one was how to release negative emotions. I went, wait, what? What does that okay. what does that have to do with cleaning? Cleaning sand dollars. Okay. Cleaning, cleaning a, tent, a tent. I get. And how cleaning to release emotions. negative emotions. Cleaning the negative well, emotions. How to clean out your head. That's pretty much what it, what it came down yeah, to. Yeah, you just get one of those cans of air and stick it in one ear and blow it out the other. But I just thought I just thought do that. Do not do that, please. Yes, don't don't listen to Scott. No, you can listen to me. Just don't do that. Don't, don't listen. Don't listen. No, nobody. Scott doesn't listen to you. Don't listen uh-huh. to him. All right. So adapters. Adapters. I found also in my searches. I found a very cool adapter. What does it adapt? A power adapter. So remember how you buy power adapters, and every time you buy a power adapter, it comes with a little thing, and it's either got the eighty different things on the end. You can plug everything into. Okay. Right? Or or you got the little tips that you got to switch. Yes, I had one of those. Okay. Check out this company. Epica. Universal travel with Epica. So instead of having all these different adapters, check out this one. Uh, where is it? 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 No. Yeah, it's this one. Check this out. You slide down. There's just different colors here. Come on, show me. So there's all your different plugs to plug stuff in, but yes, there it is. So you slide that one down to get the European one. And you slide it back and it hides. Slide that one down for English. You slide that one down for whatever that the UK is. Australia. Look, cool, huh? Sure. Isn't that clever? It is. That's how you want to get an adapter for power. And it also converts the power. Which is even better yet. But don't use high power appliances. So so no, no, no. Okay. No. But I thought that was cool. It is cool. Thank you for sharing that with us. Because because you lose those adapters. And if I had that adapter, I could have actually plugged into another outlet in my room and on the cruise ship. Because they did have the adapter in there. Oh, come on, goose. Nah. Why are Whoa. you being so weird? Yeah, because you grabbed them like that. All right, so we've talked about the government giving stuff away, right? And I talked to you about how pissed I was about, them giving, about them giving 10 grand to people with student debt. Yes. Uh, just give everybody 10 grand. Because you're not solving the problem. It's just more taxes that we're going to have to pay. So now I have to pay, and my kids have to pay who graduate without student debt for somebody who did have student debt. But you're not solving the problem. And there's a whole thing about why student debt is so high and how the lobbyists go in from the colleges and they manipulate the politicians by saying, well, nobody's ever defaulted on on a student loan, which is a lie. um, But nobody's ever defaulted on a student loan. So we need to raise the debt ceiling. And then as soon as the colleges get the government to raise the debt ceiling, oh, all the tuitions go up too to match the new debt ceiling. Of course. To match it. Not like graduate up to don't bam, right to the top of it. So it's it's a scam. It's a scam. But now I've, I'm watching all these programs, and I don't know, maybe because I became sensitive, sensitive to it. Steve, I didn't know you were sensitive. But check this out. Did you know, as part of the Inflation Reduction Act that just got voted in to avoid climate destruction, now you can get free appliances. I need some. So how do we sign up for that? The federal government will spend $370 billion over the next decade to fight climate change. And one of those is getting you new appliances that are better. Then did you see the window thing? Where if you're over a certain age and your window's over a certain age and you're in the right area, 
They will buy new windows for you. <gasps> I need new windows in my house really bad. And you're old enough to have it. You just got to see if you're in an area. But I don't Ooh. want to sign up for these programs where it's not a scam. Like everybody wants to scam you and sell you the windows. It's, then it's you don't get it. You know, I just want the damn money for the program. Right. Yeah. So what's next? What's next? Now that they want us to all go electric cars, they're going to give us electric cars. Oh, and here's the funny part, too. While I was in California for the cruise, they wanted everybody to shut their air conditioning off between the hottest part of the day, between 4 and 8 to, to reduce. We'll all get through this together. Wait, you don't have enough power now to power everything people have, and you want everybody to go to electric cars. Explain to me how that is going to work. Easily. Isn't, it, isn't that going to increase oh, the oh, demand oh, oh, for electricity? Oh, 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 oh. stupid idiots. Oh. Remember we were talking about the infrastructure problem with electric cars? Yeah. Okay. When I was doing the wedding on Sunday, yesterday, I had a break, and I was close enough to Miller Park, so I knew the area well enough. And I was driving to go get food, and I passed the Super Walmart close mm -hmm. to Miller Park. Ten charging stations in their parking yep. lot. Yep. Yep. They're ahead of the curve. There's still ten. There's still you know ten thousand short, but they got ten. Right. But that's this is in Milwaukee. That was kind of cool. Oh, and that's the other thing. Remember the shows that we did about the e-bikes? They were freaking everywhere. I, oh, when, yeah. when I was sitting there waiting for people to get on the bus, kids would from would walk across the street, put their car in 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 the e-bike or the these were the scooter ones, the ones that are like the you don't really just use your phone. Well, whatever. But they just went around the parking lot for an hour and then parked them and they were done. It's so it was a play thing for them. That was so cool. Yep. Yep, that's it. Crazy, right? It is. It's like, because when you live in the country, you don't see any of this stuff. You live in the country. Technically, we live in this. We're considered a rural area. Yeah. Well, we, what's your street name? Uh, County Road C O. CR something, right? It's County Road O. CR, right? CR well, dash O on the maps for County yes, Road. Probably. Yeah. Not probably. Just say you're right, Steve. You're right, Steve. Thank you. After your left side. You live there and you don't know. I have to look at a map when I come up there. That's why I know. You should look at your map on Google Maps when you I do your map stuff. I'll bet you it says CR. It does not. What does it say? It says County Road O South. Well, County Road O Space S. All right. Let me see if I have your address in here. Uh, not going to work that way. There, there's a reason why it says that, Steve. Uh, why? Because that's the way I saved it as my home address was that way, and then it modified it on my screen, so it always says it that way. Yeah, I know your address says it that way, but what does the actual map say for the road? Because because it was when it's a, a state road, it's a SR. And when it's all this other stuff, it, there's all kinds of abbreviations. Like like South, they don't put the South. Nope, they just they put S. They put S. And Sometimes Lane, they, they put LN. And Drive, right. they put DR. Yep. Wow. And they did write out the whole thing. County yep. and an RDO South. Well, when was it CR? Has it been that long since I've been there when they used to have CRs on In there? all actuality, my electric bill, even though I've told them that the it was changed 25 years ago. They still say County Trunk O. Well, remember when they were fire addresses? What, yes. did they, what, what was that? We're still like that in some places. Like, like my property still uses the fire number as the address, W7551. What is S and D Town Line? S and D Town Line Road? Sharon and Darien Township or Delavan, depending on what side of the street you're on. Oh, that's the, that's the township line? Yes. Okay. Hey, there's a wise road by you. You should move there. There is. And actually, I've gone down it, and I felt smarter every time. Yeah. Are we out of time yet? Got time no, for we'll one more. we'll do one more. All right, we're going to do the one. Everybody's asking me, is it time to buy property? Right? Is the economy yes. going to do bad? Yes. Can we do good? Should I buy property? 
Well, if you're in Dublin, Dublin, if you're in Dublin, Dublin. I've, I've been doing a lot of foreign stuff uh, for which is know, awesome because, because it's because because it's, it's, it's don't know and, show and what happened to the world, right? Right. So, so if you're in in Dublin, Dublin, Dublin where Irish, you get Dublin Irish, your money, man. Irish is capital. The housing shortage reaches a crisis point. There was one place up for rent. How many potential tenants stood in line to view the rental property? Three. In one day. One day. Six. Now, remember, it's a crisis. How Nine? many? 150. This is no joke, dude. 150 people stood in line. For one place, over 150 potential tenants queued. 1,200 applications for one house. Yeah. Look at this. Look at the people standing in line. Just to see it. Yep. Look at that. That's crazy. It is crazy. But there's the availability of houses for rent in Dublin. Look at there, 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 there. Uh, why is that they're blocking that? But it's not a lot. It's under five thousand. That's that's that that mark right there is around the thousand mark of places you can live in if yep. you want to live in Dublin, Ireland. How crazy is that? Cuckoo bonkers. Uh so with that. I guess we will take the uh, rest of the subjects and move those. Okay. Unless you want to do one more? No, no more. No, nope, it's We're time. Because I drank, I oh, drank a 24 ounce bottle of soda tonight. So. Oh, good. Then we're just gonna wing our opening then. Uh, well, we don't have to. I'm I'm doing okay. But you notice I took a gamble that since you were on a cruise ship, and I sort of remembered what you had said before about Peggy with motion sickness. Yeah. So I made the word of the week. Ketosis. Oh, that's cool. But except you just deleted it. I know I did that on purpose. I did that on purpose. I like what I, there it is. It's back. I do that to you. You said the words and I just got to remember what it is. So it is the state of being dizzy or nauseated because of the motions that occur while traveling in or on a moving vehicle of any kind. Right. It's a pathology, though. So it's it's like it's a verb. It's it's not really a noun. Right. It's a noun for pathology, but it, it, it acts like a verb. See. Right? So. So what is osis? And that's why I want to know, how does that work? Because. Isn't osis swelling? No. Oh. What? what? I'm trying what is, to remember the proper definition without looking it up. Um, it what is, is swelling? Osis. What is the medical term osis? Medical term osis indicating condition, status, or process, whether normal or diseased or sometimes increased. Oh, so that's just indicating a condition. Correct. That's okay. the word I was looking for, the condition. Thank you. All right. And 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 is this kinetic, meaning motion? Kinetic is that what the first part? Yep. Oh, you know, me. I did not look it up, but that does make sense because kinetic, an issue with kinetic kineticism, kinetic. Yeah, is it kinet? Combinating form, save the word as kineto. That is kinet movement and motion. Sure. So see, see, Latin is cool. It is. Hard to speak, though. <laughs> Actually, it's Greek, though. Well, the history and entomology Dude, for Quebec is it's Greek. All Greek to me. But see how you can make figure out what it is. Yeah. So it is moving and motion, denoting a process or condition. It's a pathological state. Neurosis. That's what osis is from. Neurosis. Neuroses, which is nervoses. Got it. See, we taught people something new today. 
Yeah, how to break down maybe. words. Yeah, right. I could get to the first word on the spelling bee, maybe. Could you use it in a sentence? I'll tell you something. I have I'm I'm better than average on spelling only because I read so much. <laughs> However, I could never do a spelling bee. Because they always come up with words that and I don't understand how the kids figure it out because it doesn't okay. seem to match the rules we're taught. Okay, Susie's going to get mad at me. There's a reason you were no good at spelling bees. How do spelling bees work? Scott, your word is streaming. What does that mean? That means you had to listen to somebody else say something and pay attention to what they say and then comment on what they said. What? Exactly. Jeannie That's why talking. you're bad. That's I, I, why I think he bad. froze up. That is why you're bad at spelling bees. Oh, look, he's back. Could, could you use it in a sentence, please? I can. Steve is a no. pain in the ass. Oh. <laughs> no. I would say in a sentence, and you go, what'd you say? What'd you say? Hmm? What'd you say? Hmm? Hmm? Didn't pay attention. Wouldn't pay attention. That's okay. I don't have enough money to pay attention. The good thing about not paying attention is it is the end of the show. All right. Well, then thank you for watching. And if you feel our show is not a bad life decision, then please subscribe, like, watch other shows and channels like we talked about earlier. Go down to whathappened.world. Right there. Right there. It's right there. Um, it really is. I put and, it there on purpose. And then you can see what uh, we've done. Uh, you can connect to um, my social media. Uh, you connect to Scott's social media. And he uh, he posted those pictures today um, behind and put a description on there, right? I did. Actually, I posted one three days ago, and it never left my phone. <laughs> because you live in an area where you have a bad uh, connection, I guess. Correct. Correct. When I went into town, all of a sudden my phone says this. It, it, it gives you a circle with an exclamation point in it, which means it did not go anywhere. It's like, okay, thanks. That's so bad. Yep. So, all right. Well, I want you to live every day and we'll see you on the next show, which will be on Sunday next week. Yes, but it might be a few minutes late because, again, Brewers game. Brewers Last game. time I got on time. All right. Well, be genuinely positive. Live and love life. And have a good one. Uh, 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 uh,